Hello and welcome to Money Time at Money Nine English. I am Ajay, and let's go straight to today's headlines. First, automobile retail sales rose 10% in May on the back of robust demand across segments including passenger vehicles, two-wheelers, and tractors. The total automobile retail sales jumped to 20.19 lakh units last month from 18.33 lakh units in May 2022. Passenger vehicle sales rose by 4% to 2,98,873 units in May as compared to 2,86,523 units in the year-ago period. Two-wheeler retail sales last month rose 9% to 14,93,234 units as compared to 13,65,924 units in May 2022. Now then, if you have been expecting a price cut in fuels, then you will be disappointed. Saudi Arabia has decided to cut production of crude oil, which is expected to push up prices in the international markets. This will delay any move by oil marketing companies to cut retail prices. Petrol and diesel prices have been on a freeze for a record 14 months now. Petrol costs 96.72 rupees per litre in the national capital and diesel comes for 89.62 rupees a litre. Now then, there could be some pleasant news for home and car buyers. The Reserve Bank of India will maintain the repo rate at 6.5% during its upcoming June 8 announcement, which means the EMI rates won't go up for now. The inflation has been recorded at 4.7% which is under the RBI's tolerance ban. The meeting of the six-member Monetary Policy Committee meeting is scheduled for June 6 to 8. The decision of the 43rd meeting of the MPC would be announced on Thursday, June 8. All right, if you're also troubled by pesky phone calls, then help is at hand. The telecom regulator TRI has directed service providers to develop a unified digital platform in two months to seek maintain and revoke customers' consent for promotional calls and messages. In the first phase, only subscribers will be able to initiate the process to register their consent for receiving promotional calls and SMS and later, business entities will be able to reach out to customers to seek their consent to receive promotional messages. At present, there is no unified system to show consent of customers for getting promotional messages. This is expected to reduce the huge number of pesky calls one gets every day. Moving on, RBL Bank has announced a new fixed deposit scheme, A's Fixed Deposit. The bank is offering a 20% higher rate of interest over and above the regular callable deposits with senior citizens and super senior citizens receiving 50 basis points and 75 basis points higher interest rates. The minimum deposit value would be 50 lakh rupees and the maximum deposit value is of less than 2 crore rupees. Customers can choose a tenure ranging from 1 to 20 years and enjoy the benefits on maturity. Both resident and non-resident Indians can opt for this FD. And foreign portfolio investors pumped in 43,838 crore rupees in the Indian equities in May the highest level in nine months. FPIs continued the buying stance in June 2 and invested 6,490 crore rupees in just two trading sessions of the month. According to the data, FPIs invested a net sum of 43,838 crore rupees in the Indian equities in the entire month of May. Now, this is the highest level of investment by FPIs in the last nine months. Before this, they put in a net sum of 51,204 crore rupees in equities in August 2022, according to the data. This came following a net infusion of 11,630 crore rupees in equities in April and 7,936 crore rupees in March. All right, EdTech major Baiju's will launch the initial public offering of its test preparatory arm Akash Education Services Limited by the middle of next year. The upcoming IPO will provide a capital infusion to bolster Akash's infrastructure, broaden its reach and extend high-quality test prep education to a large number of students across the nation. Baiju's acquired Akash for about $950 million in April 2021. 
Akash has reported a threefold increase in revenue in the last two years. The company has over 325 centers currently serving more than 4 lakh students across the country. Now to curb volatility in small cap stocks, leading stock exchanges BSC and NSE have put in place an enhanced surveillance mechanism for companies that have a market cap of less than 500 crore rupees. The enhanced surveillance measure will be effective from June 5. The parameters for shortlisting the securities under the ESM framework include high-low price variation and close-to-close -close price variation. The security shall be part of the framework for a minimum period of three months. However, in case the security is under stage two of the framework, it shall be retained under stage two for a minimum period of one month. And Hero Motocorp has hiked the prices of its flagship electric scooter Vida V1 Pro by 6,000 rupees. The development comes days after the government reduced the incentives for electric two-wheelers under Fame 2 to 10,000 rupees per kWh from the earlier 15,000 rupees per kWh. The cap on incentives for electric two-wheelers has also been slashed by 15% of the X factory prices of vehicles against 40% earlier. With the price increase, the electric scooter will now be available at 1,44,900 rupees ex showroom price from its earlier price of 1.39 lakh rupees. Well, that's it for today here on Money Time at Money 9 English. Download the Money 9 app and stay tuned to Money 9 English's YouTube channel. Also, check out money9.com for all business and personal finance news. See you again tomorrow at the same time. Until then, this is me, Ajay, signing off. Good night.